Hello and welcome to something again a little bit different here on Theme Park Worldwide. Following the theme this year of not just going to some big theme parks and tourist attractions out there, but also doing some smaller little quaint places. And today we're actually making our way into Chester for a little walk around the city, but we thought we'd come and stop at a place called the Ice Cream Farm. Here's Charlotte just behind me. Ice Cream Farm! <laughs> and she's got my uh, coat on today. You've nicked my coat, stolen it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little look around, aren't we, and see what there is inside here. And uh, yeah, if you look at it just here, here's the map of what we've got. Like I say, it's located about, it's just over eight miles from the center of Chester. So it's in quite a good location, free parking, lots of uh, parking available here as well. Uh, but the signposts are a little bit difficult to get here, so I definitely recommend uh, your sat-nav to get yourself down here. But uh, here we are on the car park. So here's the uh, entrance to it just here, got a couple of shops and things about. And it's sort of set all around this central sort of courtyard area called Daisy's Garden, which I believe is like a free play area all around the middle. And you've got like a big tree in the middle. You've got Strawberry Falls Adventure Golf just there. And then loads of different attractions all the way around the side. There's like a restaurant. I think there's a couple of indoor kids play areas. Uh, and of course, we're gonna try some of the, uh, the ice, cream ice cream as well, at the ice cream parlor. And uh, yeah, you've got Fudge Farm where Charlotte's going to see some goats. Yay! And then the main event of what we've come here for today, in my opinion, why I wanted to come and stop here, uh, for something just over here. And I won't mention it until we get in, but there are some tractors for you there. Wait till you see those tractors when we get inside and uh, see if you recognise where they're from. But uh, yeah, it looks like there's some sort of little race track at the back just there. Might see if we can have a go on that. And uh, yeah, just have a little look round here at the ice cream farm. Like I say, it's free parking, it's free entry, and you pay for each individual attraction. Uh, so I'll show you some of the prices and things once we uh, get inside. First impressions though, it's really nicely uh, sort of finished here. You've got like all the buildings, all nice footpath and everything. Charlotte's gonna have to have a wash with the hose pipe before you go in. I said, go and sit in the bowl down there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's the entrance just down there. Uh, it doesn't look like they allow picnics here. It's a smoke-free site as well. Looks like a very friendly sort of atmosphere uh, inside this one. But uh, yeah, just a short little vlog, just seeing some new little places, what there is throughout the UK uh, to go and discover. So uh, let's go inside and uh, take a little look. So here's a little look then inside what seems to be the main courtyard area. Lots of different play equipment here. I mean, there's a lot of upcharge attractions that are all together and it is mainly for the kids, isn't it, this one? We've just come here for one reason and that's really to see A, the goats, yes. and B, so I can see the tractors from yeah. uh, Alton Towers where I have a lot of childhood memories. But uh, yeah, you've got all this play equipment in the middle. There's like some sort of miniature golf course down there that we'll have a look at, a bit of mini golf. Uh, there's a few like different ice really cream, nice. yeah, like shops yeah, and stuff. There's really a restaurant nice just around here. And uh, yeah, that's Honeycomb Canyon, sand and water play area. That's £4.50. Yeah. Like, it, it can get quite expensive yeah. from looking at it for the kids, can't it? But yeah. uh, oh, we may as well have a little look around whilst we're here. It's really nicely finished off, though, all these nice buildings and everything. So you've got somewhere called the Pantry over there, which is a, a big restaurant indoors doing all different things. Fun factory play area, £4.50. And what are you doing with my coat on? <laughs> Why? <laughs> look how warm I look. Oh, have you seen the uh, seats over here? Oh, they're nice. Oh, nice. Little wheelbarrow. Go on, go and sit in it. A little wheelbarrow. I can't believe she's got my coat on. Shocking. Oh, there we go. Hey. <laughs> how cool is that? What a nice little idea. Right, let's uh, go and have a look round. And there's Sean running his bath. Yeah. He's got no taps. Oh, oh no. Can't run it. Oh, look at these though. Pretty big job. Some little bath, bath bombs. The bath bombs. Look at those. It's nice, isn't it? Look at a nice little gift shop here. Set you for a little walk around. I can't, can't run my bath today. Shopping. There you go, look. Even got some nice branded bears. Look at those. That's a nice one, multicoloured. That's nice, isn't it? Nice brandy bear. I can't take it seriously with you in my jacket. Cute. I like that because I've never seen a bear like a multicolored one. Oh, there you go. You got a few different ones. These are a bit more sort of plain, but you got the logo on there. That's lovely. Yeah, and big bear at the back. Yeah, I just think that really cool. I like that one. All different sweets. Lovely. Just been through the gift shop then. This is really quite cool here. Look at this. You've got a big tree in the middle. And it's got all dollops of ice cream or scoops. Scoops is a better word, isn't it? Not dollops. Scoops of ice cream. They look so nice. Yeah. They're quite realistic as well. They do. 
you know, I think this is a really nice little area. I just wasn't expecting to look quite like this. I thought it was more going to be like just a farm with a few tractors and farm animals and an ice cream shop, but it's really nice here. It's, it's themed, really. I mean, you look at all this here. There you go. I'm melting. I freeze. It's snow time. Sub zero cool. Yeah, it's really quite cool. And all this is free to go around. This big play area in the middle uh, is all free. It's free parking as well. Yeah, free parking, which is good. The potting shed. Slide crowd. Slide crowd. Oh, not a slide crowd. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, they look really realistic. There. Oh, that one's melting there, look. How well themed already. This is the sort of place that. I think you've got to watch in the future because we might see a few rides and things put in here. I mean, you look at it, it's like they're building this infrastructure at the entrance. It kind of looks a little bit like Poulton's Park or maybe Folly Farm over in Wales when we went there uh, last year. But uh, yeah, I think it's got a lot of potential, this place. Ah! Oh, is that it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. So this is a little look at the, uh, the mini golf course. It's themed to like strawberry ice cream, I think this. I like it, it's so well themed, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's got really some better theming, like the Alton Towers in places. When you look at all this, it looks great around here. Really good, you got like all the waffles, got like a, some ice cream cones in the middle there, like a castle one. I don't think we'll go on the golf. I mean, it looks like there's not many obstacles, but it's more for kids, isn't it? As expected, really. You know, it's not got like really complex like holes and stuff, but uh, it looks really nice. I like how it's got like all the, the crust around the outside. Oh, and there you are, look over by the waterfalls, you got some, uh, got some strawberries. And that's a play area in there, is it? <laughs> I think you're a bit too big for that, Charlotte. Sorry, too big for the play area. <laughs> There's a big slide round here though, have a look at this, jelly drop. Oh, it's a bit windy. God, look at that. That, looks it's like, it's like a vertical slide. It's a bit like the one that we've seen at Oakwood, like the moon landing slide. But I suppose with that one, uh, like it's a, it's wooden, isn't it? Whereas with this, it's all, well, it's inflatable, so it wouldn't really hurt. That's Silver cone little raceway here, which is a pound. Oh, we got some milk there. We got two lanes in action. There we go. This is a pound. That's quite a bargain. Most things here are four pound fifty activity wise, but with this, it's like <laughs> you literally just put your pound coin in the side. They've also got a token system in action here as well. I don't know. Come on. What are you doing back there? Life is a highway. I love it. It's so windy there here today. We're literally on our way to Chester, like I said at the start. So we thought we'd pop in on the way, see the old tractors from Towers. It's like a childhood memory. Wasn't expecting to get a little ride in. Woo! They're good, these are, I tell you. Really, uh, sweetie. Are you, sweetie? Ooh. Hey, it's a good layout on these, isn't it? <laughs> That's Chuggy. I think I've just seen where the tractors are. Marshmallow Mound, that's like a little uh, trampoline over there. A bit like the one at Toverland. Wee! You're going slow, you are. You picked the wrong one. Oh, here she comes. Bye bye. <laughs> Ice cream cones around as well. There's Rocket. This place really know what they're doing here. I bet they make a fortune on a sunny, sunny day. There we go. That's it. Park it up, park it up. Whee! <laughs> that was really good fun. They go quite fast, they do. So here we are then. It's nice to see some old friends. And this is the main reason I wanted to sort of pop in here on our way really to Chester. This is like my childhood. Obviously these used to operate at Alton Towers from 1995 
through to 2013 in Old McDonald's farmyard. I mean, you went on these, didn't you, Alton Towers? Yeah. And obviously, Postman Pat was built in place of these. A lot of people thought that when Postman Pat was put in for CBeebies Land in 2014, that it was actually uh, the same like track, the same ride system, but they actually changed the cars. It wasn't. I mean, I used to operate that ride, and uh, basically, they completely redid uh, the whole layout, you know. So these here became dormant, so they sold them to the ice cream farm. And this is why I wanted to come here and see them, really. It's been a few years since I last seen Puffy, and there's Charlotte sitting on him. There you go. But uh, I like how they've put their own little uh, little logos on the side as well. It's nice, isn't it? Just a bit of... Oh, you're all right. It's bird flu I can't take you seriously with you in that coat. I've got fishermen in the car. Why didn't you put fishermen on? Because this is really comfortable. Oh, but uh, yeah, it's nice, and they've even put their little branded on, like I say. You just about make it out. But yeah, it's nice. I can really see them getting some rides here in the future, though, can you? Yeah. Uh, they've got a good setup going on here. If you are coming with kids though, it can get quite pricey, but they do seem to do like a tokens offer, so I'm not too sure. Maybe if you buy the tokens, it's cheaper yeah, for each attraction instead of token. just paying £4.50 for yeah, a lot of them. it's like a certain amount of tokens for each thing. But that car was really good, wasn't it, for a pound? Oh, no, I might have to have another go on that, I quite liked it. But yeah, Chuggy was always one of my favourites, Alton Towers. I like how they've kept the colours of them as well, and they've like redone the seating in the back of it. But uh, there you go, a bit of bit of childhood memories there. Probably a lot of people watching this channel didn't realise where they'd gone. They probably thought the Alton Towers scrapped them. But no, it's nice, isn't it? A big corporation like that supporting a little attraction like this. So yeah, if you want to come and see them, they've got four here of the old tractors from uh, Alton Towers. Obviously, they're not on a track or anything, but you can just come here, have a photo with them. And I believe they've been here for a few years now since the, I think they came here pretty much straight after uh, Alton Towers took them out. But uh, just behind here is Fudge Farm. Oh, I like this, you got the little podium as well for the Silver Cone Raceway. Fudge Farm. So, yeah! Hey, you're not in first place though, it's me. Yours is going too slow. So I'll have a walk over in and go and have a look at some of the uh, animals. So here we are at the goats. At the what? The goats. The goats. Look there at we them. Are. Look at the horns on that beast. So we, <laughs> we've got three goats. Oh, he's having a bit of a scratch, that one. We've got three goats here. But they won't come over to me. Oh, now you're scared him though, because you got your phone out to take a selfie, a goat selfie, and then they all went running off. Oh, look, now he's got his legs under the thing now. Know, they've been jumping over this fence and everything just here, haven't they? But uh, yeah, lots of different animals here. It's quite a big uh, a big section, this. You've got the pigs in here as well. <laughs> the pigs have been coming over to Charlotte though. Do you want to stroke the pigs? No. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you've got the goats and pigs just over here. We've got some alpacas <laughs> up there on the left. We love a good alpaca. And uh, a few other animals and things about as well, isn't they? Like, what did we walk past over there to get there up here? Some sheep. Yeah, some it's sheep. A donkey. Oh, what? Sorry. Donkey. A donkey. But yeah, the, there were some horses on the way in. They're not the most like active goats with the public. These are they? They're too busy eating. Look at them scoffing away. Hello there, and thank you for watching Theme Park Worldwide. So of course we couldn't come to the ice cream farm without having some ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream farms. Yeah, look at this. How many different flavours did you say? Like over like 50. Yeah, over 50 different flavours. Look at this. Here's a little uh, pan over just some of the flavours here. I'm not going to read each one out, but the problem is when you've got so much choice like this, what do you have? Jelly bear. Jelly bear. But let's have a look at the prices down here. Single £2.50. It's not that bad to be double honest. Double 3 75 It's not too bad, I suppose, is it? No. Like, I'll probably just have a single. I'm not bothered about having a, a massive having, one. Just had a huge meal as well. I'm having a milkshake. You're having a milkshake? £3.15. Why not add whipped cream for 35 p well, I'm going to add whipped cream. Are you actually? Yeah. You have a slush for £2.50. Star slush. That's no, because that's not ice cream. It's not, no. You can have anywhere. You can, but yeah, look at this. They certainly know what they're doing. What flavour do I have? And it's really nicely presented in here. I really like this place, actually. I know it's more designed for kids, but I thought, with us going on, on to Chester, I thought we'll come and have a little look on the way, just because I've heard a lot about it, and it's actually a really nice little place. Quite expensive for like all the different attractions if you're doing them. But uh, I like it's not yeah, yeah, I wanted to come in, have an ice cream, see the uh, tractors from Alton Towers, and just have a little general look about, really. It's just a short little video from this one. Yeah, look at all the flavours, it's really nicely presented. So I'll get my ice cream, and then I'll uh, show you that, and I'll give you Sean's ice cream review today. 
So after about five minutes of deciding, I went for the single cone, as expected, and I went for the chocolate uh, chocolate cookie fudge, I think it's called, chocolate fudge cookie, something on those lines. And uh, yeah, not too bad, £2.50, and that is, I've just had a little taste, one of the nicest ice creams I've ever had that, I can see why. And the best thing is, it's all produced here at the farm as well. She said it's all done over the back, just over there. Oh, really nice, what you got? I bubblegum milkshake. How does it taste? I don't know how to You're not do too sure. about it. No. It's very sickly. It looks nice though. I'll have to have a taste of that one. But, uh, it's got a little whipped cream, but I'm going to enjoy that. Then we'll wrap up this uh, little mini vlog here from the ice cream farm. And it's melting very quick. <laughs> My coat. <laughs> so there we go, we've come to the end of our visit here to the ice cream farm. I've really enjoyed it. I mean, it can get quite expensive in there if you've got kids. Bear in mind, you've got a couple of indoor play areas. There's the JCB diggers, there's a slide. Uh, you can even pay to go like, around the little farm bit, which we did. They close it off at a certain time, and you have to pay to, like a pound to go around on a little land train. It was free when we went round, because we got here quite early in the morning. But bear that in mind, if you just want to walk round and don't want to pay to go on the train, obviously you want to get here a bit earlier before the uh, close that off and you have to get the land train but uh, yeah the ice cream that I had was really really nice one of the best ice creams I've ever had out there I'm not just saying that but honestly if you're in the area it'd be well worth popping in just to come and have uh, an ice cream I really liked that but uh, maybe don't have the uh, the bubble gum like Charlotte did that milkshake was rank it wasn't very nice <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd have just had the normal scoop it didn't taste right no I like to put something else in it as yeah, well yeah there's definitely put something else in it because it was just really sickly and thick. Eyes too big for a belly, I think. My eyes wasn't too big. Yeah, <laughs> you should have had a smaller one. I should have just had a normal yeah, I think so. The normal ice cream was very, very nice. It yeah. was very enjoyable. What are you doing there? You're on a pirate I can't ship or something? See. The sun's coming out now. It's quite nice. We're going into Chester now. Yippee. Well, yeah, and what do you think to it? It's quite nice. Really isn't nice it? place to visit, but it can be expensive. Yeah, it can be for all the individual attractions. But yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, it is really nice. It's just for, for adults, maybe a couple of hours. We've been here just to have a little walk around, uh, go in the shop and that sort of thing. And it's quite a chilled out place, but I definitely recommend it, especially if you've got kids and you've got families. Come down here and check out the ice cream farm. Like I say, not too far from Chester. It is in the middle of nowhere, but it's nice and easy to get here uh, if you're using a sat nav. There's not many like brown signs around the area, uh, so definitely bear that in mind if you visit. But uh, following on our theme this year of not just going to the big theme parks there is out there, doing little smaller attractions like this, and of course getting them out there and sharing them with you guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video here on Theme Park Worldwide. That means it's time to cue those credits. See you later. Ice cream farm, ice cream farm. <laughs> Thank you.